Hi everyone, it's librarian Suzanne, and I'm here today to show you how to build with your 3D paper building kit. Here's what your kit should look like, although your colors might be different from mine. I've been reusing these same baggies at the library for over five years, so please find a good use for it at home. Start by sorting out your pieces by color. You should have two different sets of triangles. We're going to start with a set of four triangles and use them to build a triangular pyramid. Fold up the edges of each triangle on the perforated lines so that you have tabs that stick up. Line up one tab of one triangle with one tab of another triangle and attach them by putting a rubber band around those two tabs. It should look like this. Use the same technique to add another triangle to those two. So you should have something that looks like this with three pieces of paper and three rubber bands so far. Now you're just going to add the last triangle to form the bottom. And so here's your finished product. Now that you've got the basics, let's move on to something a bit trickier. For this piece, you're going to use the hexagons and the squares. And if you're not sure which one the hexagon is, you can look for the shape that has six sides. Again, fold up the edges on the perforated lines to make tabs. Then attach one hexagon to one square. Add a second hexagon, then a third, and then a fourth. It should look like this. Now attach each hexagon to the hexagon next to it. It'll look like this, and here's the other side if you flip it over. In each of the right angles in between the hexagons, you're going to add a square. If you're finding this shape tricky, it's helpful to remember that in this piece, a square never touches another square. And then in between those squares, you're going to add hexagons. Now there should be one spot left on top for your remaining hexagon. And when you think you're done, just double check it to make sure you didn't skip any rubber bands. And so here's your finished product. The last piece we're making looks like this when it's done and it's made of octagons and the other set of triangles. And by now I bet you've gotten the hang of building with these pieces, so I'm not going to walk you through it so much, but you can follow along with these pictures. And here's a hint. In this piece, a triangle never touches another triangle. I hope you enjoyed 3D paper building at our virtual Makers Day. Thanks so much for watching.